Yo, Jay. What's up, Raul? Hey, man. I used to have this job at a calendar factory, but I got the sack because I took a couple days off. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Let's see, in. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing in. for you. Hey, 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 man, you got your check? HBO check. Oh, Shh, we ain't talking about that. Oh, okay, okay. Hey guys, my name's Sia. Really love the show. I'm gonna give my joke. How do you um how do you make holy water holy? holy. You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Have a good night. And welcome to another episode of Pop Song, episode 27. 27! Yeah, man. Nobody cares about 27 either. Nobody really gives a shit. Mm. You know, this 27, I think, is when you get to the age that you you know you should be making better choices. But you're not. No, you're not. Mm-mm. But you feel there's enough self-guilt to set you up for a good 28, though. Yeah. Like, I should know better about it. I should know better by now. Yeah, 27. Hey, man. I'm yeah. Raul, one of your hosts. I'm Jay Alvarez. And we got Marcel over here on the soundboards. Man, how was your week, bro? Week's been interesting. Uh, week's been interesting. Shit happened. <laughs> like nothing, nothing really happened. Recover, recover from the flu, man. This is oh. the first week I've had back yeah. all the way. Damn. So it's been, it's it's been touch and go. Uh, but now, nah, man, things are good. Family's good. Got to get get the Christmas tree down. Oh, I took mine down. You took it, man. You took yours down I before did. me. I did. I came home one day from work, and I was like, "I just take this shit down." No, we're looking at this Christmas tree, and it's not that we want to leave it up because we're festive, which is too lazy. You know <laughs> I, what I mean? I was like, "Can I we was, just take the? Can we just like take the stuff off and leave it like a fern?" You know, people have plastic. People have plastic plants up in the house all true, year long. True. Can't just we, take can the stuff we just down, like just hang like it. change the ornaments by season or something? I don't want to do that work either. Black History Month tree. <laughs> that's what mine turned into last year. The painted Kwanzaa colors. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. Now we um we took we took it down because I I was I was talked into getting my kids a goddamn guinea pig. What? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> that shit. Let me tell you something. It's what a rule, twenty dollar pain in your ass. Oh no, no no no! I didn't pay anything. Oh, okay. I didn't pay anything. It was it was a gift. Okay. From their cousins because they don't fucking want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, can we get it for like a month or whatever? Ah, fuck it, try it. But the the moment that I have to do anything for this little shit, it's going back. Yeah, I will release this shit to the wild. I don't care. But no, maybe it's Chris Rock. Oh <laughs> man! I, every time I look at it, I think of that. Yeah, that's crazy. Dr. Doolittle. Talking, he's gonna start talking like Nutty Professor. That should be hilarious. But no, nah, it's 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 been a you know a time. They they're supposed to clean it every mm-hmm. week. I started smelling it. Yo, those things stink they fast. They stink fast. I was like, you better clean this shit today. It was yeah. bad. I didn't like it. I didn't like the smell. But my son, super animal lover. Like he takes it, takes it out the cage, and it like sits there and watch TV with him. Yeah. It's super weird. It's his buddy. <sighs> Yo, my son's first pet was a goat. Oh, we're not gonna talk about. It. I need you to not judge my lifestyle. <laughs> no, I no, I had one, and oh, then okay. we ate it. Yeah, so do we. Oh, Pepe, he was delicious. Goatee, man. I was six years old. I came back in there, and as soon as I came back, they chopped the head off. I was like, God damn it. No, he was he was my son's first pet, and then he was like, where's Pepe? I'm like, we're eating him. He's like, Pepe's delicious. Oh, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's your friend. <laughs> Eat your friend. That's why we're savages in Colombia, bro. Oh, I guess me. <laughs> ah, man. But yeah, we're we your friends, but we have no problems killing you if we have to. <laughs> that's true. You're absolutely right with that. Yep. Not Yeah. No, we, um, so they got, they got a little, oh, his name, Obi-Wan. <laughs> yeah yeah obi-wan obi-wan okay at yep. least you got that much yep I, that's all i wanted anything else you got I can do whatever you want his name is obi now oh but i'm now i'm trying to think of like guinea pig star wars names oh, i'm gonna come up with something we'll get back on this yes yes i think i got homework for next week hey guys submit your uh favorite <laughs> <laughs> guinea pig, uh star wars themed guinea pig names yeah give us a call 321-405-2219 this is just an off the wall shit. I, w- I want to see this on Facebook. I want to see how good this gets. Gonna I'm gonna fun. meme this. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> meme this. But yeah, so that they got that. Um, that's about it, man. The kids has been has been good this week. <laughs> Topic we're gonna talk about a little later. 
Oh. Oh, man. We'll get to that. That yeah. shit's fucked. Oh, man. It's going to be fun. I'm not ready. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, it's been super slow on the news front. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, Got Golden Globes happened. Everybody's still hungover. Yeah, pretty much. That's essentially it. Yeah. We don't really give a shit about Golden Globes. Nope. But uh, what we do give a shit about, we're trying to figure out why, is uh, looks like Fox has pushed New Mutants to February 20, 20, 22nd of 2019. Yeah. It was originally supposed to come out in April of this year? April of this year. What the fuck? I don't know, man. That is... uh, that is. I get that they would need to do some reshoots. Apparently, there were some screenings, and the screenings weren't bad. Mm. But they do want to tweak some things, and they said they want to focus a little more on the horror element on the reshoots. I get want to do some reshoots, and I get it's January or like mid-January. This mm. movie's coming out mid-April. Three months is kind of tight to turn all that around. So I get them wanting to push it back a little bit. I mean, I get not wanting to go into the summer because this summer's pretty packed this already. Summer's packed, yeah. It, it, it's going to be a real busy summer. But Star Wars isn't coming out in December. Why not open this up in like November or something? Shit, you know what? We don't know. Even that's you another. Know? That's a whole other topic. We still don't know if that date is sticking for Han Solo. Yeah, well, that's true too because they might be moving that because Deadpool moved their date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was actually part of a string of other ones. Deadpool moved two weeks earlier just to open up in front of Solo, mm-hmm. um, and Gambit did something. We don't give a shit. Yeah, um, no. The oh, Gambit lost his third director, and they pushed they pushed the release from February oh, to wow. to July. Yeah, I, I don't now. This, okay, so this one with them losing the director apparently was just scheduling conflicts. Okay, so apparently that that's all it was. But if you're willing to push the release date back, like you announce this and then push the release date back, you couldn't do that to help this guy with the scheduling conflict. That was like uh, that that kind of gets me too. Like, oh I yeah, know. scheduling conflicts prevented this. Uh, also, we're moving the the release date. Doesn't what make f- sense. What? I, it's, something is going on with that. That's, they, you realize it's supposed to be out already. It's supposed to be out uh, at last October. Be, yeah, yeah. It was supposed to be coming out at last October. I don't know why. I don't know why October, but that's that's when it was supposed to happen. Deadpool came out and shut that whole shit down. Yeah, it did. So I I don't know. And with the new mutants, I'm not I'm not sure why. Um, like you said the screenings were good. Yeah, screenings were were pretty positive. They said they wanted to go back and refocus on the horror element. So mm-hmm. I get doing some reshoots, but I think moving it ten months. I don't I don't know, man. That it just that seems like a lot. This year though, where would you put it? This year. You Probably got November. Like closer to Christmas. I don't think there's much coming out. The Ant well, Ant Man versus the Wasp, I think. That's coming out in July. That's coming out in July mm-hmm. this year? Yeah. So Damn, the- hold on. So we're getting three movies, three Marvel movies before July? That's Black Panther in February. Yep. May fourth is Infinity War. Yeah. And then in July we're getting Ant Man versus Ant Man and the Wasp. I thought that was coming out later. No, nope, that's this year. Oh, I uh, mean, summertime. this year, I just yeah, thought summertime. it was closer to November, like, yeah, like when Thor came out. Right, and and that's what a lot of people thought too, but no, they, it's right after. So when does Captain Marvel come out? Uh, March of next year. And then Avengers and, 4 comes out in May again. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and then right, okay. And then right after that is Spider-Man 2. Yeah. So yeah, three movies a year. Yeah, they're gonna start ramping up on that. They just they just wrapped filming uh, Avengers four. We're talking about New Mutants though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's how that happens. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what it could be. If they want to, fo- if they said the screens were good, they just want to fine tune it, little tweaks here and there. I'm cool with that. I can't. It, it why you can't if you can only make it better than do that. But it's it's just a little iffy though. Yeah, the whole just, ten months. I, yeah, just just that far that that stretch. I don't mind. I I get them pushing it back. Sure, but. That just seems a lot. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm worried about nothing. Hopefully, that's just it. They can't find a date where they really want to fit this in. Yeah. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's just move it to next year. October would have been fine. Prime Prime Space for it's a horror movie. Yeah, no. I think the reason they didn't do that is because expectations for horror movies in October are really high. Okay. You know what I mean? And also, horror movies actually do well at the beginning of the year, too. Uh, Get Out came out at the beginning of the year. It did, yep. Uh, There's a couple of good horror movies that come out in there. So it's not, the expectations aren't as high as a horror movie coming out on Halloween. But they still have a pretty good track record. So, I I mean, I guess that makes sense then if that's what they're really doing. I mean, it could be. Like, I'm, I'm, ex- I'm still excited for it. It's, it's again, it's another different take on the, on the, on the uh, comic book genre, if you will. Yeah. Um, but wow. I, I, the trailer came out, blew me away. And I was like, whoa, this is, this is different. Yeah. And I'm like, I liked it. So I, I'm, I just, I'm just anxious to get into that world. That's all. That's probably what it is. I think it'll be good. Also, you know what I just realized too? Deadpool came out in February. So did Logan. Yep. They did well. Fox, has, Fox has been doing, having some really good luck with the February release date. So it, you know what? That might, it might just be superstition too. Yeah. Studio, studios are just picking their damn, they're buying months now. Yeah. 
That's probably yeah. what it is. You know what? Now that now that we talk, I'm happy we talked about this. I feel a little better about it, Raul. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it, it just so happens I sit on the couch anyway, so. <laughs> and I'm in a chair just taking notes. Yeah. I feel like I feel like this worked out. Thank you. I feel like us and the audience, we're all we're all feeling better about that February yes, release date. That works. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got we got to talk that shit out. But man, I don't. I, I, again, I'm I'm excited about it. I'm I'm definitely gonna wait. It looks amazing. Um, if they're gonna make it better, make it better. I'll take it. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. They already said the early screenings weren't that bad anyway. So that's promising. That is yeah. promising news. Could be a whole. It's a whole lot of other speculations you can get into, but as of right now, we're just gonna stick with this, right? Because it, it's it's that Disney stuff is not happening no time soon. Yeah, it's true. No, they time got soon. some time to build on that. But shifting gears a little bit, uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit of music. Um, so Eminem released an album late last year. Oh yeah, I forgot that happened. So did <laughs> yeah. ever, so did the rest of America. Yeah, don't don't say that you're gonna make a song about your ass. Okay. You know he's listening too. Yeah, Apparently. Taylor Swift will write a better one. Oh. I said it. Disrespect. I said it. Shit, Eminem. When's the last time Kanye interrupted Eminem? Okay, wait, Nothing, because he did nothing for his numbers. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> First of all, watch your mouth on my Eminem. Oh, no, Kanye. Sorry. But nah, he, um, so it's called, uh, shit, I don't know what it's called. What, the song? Revival is the name of the album. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that's bad. I listened to the album. I, 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 um, I listened to it front to back. 19 tracks. I only like maybe three of them. Yeah, we reviewed it on uh, the last episode a little bit. You reviewed it. It just... No. What? So here's, here's my take on the album itself. It's not for me. It's not... It, this, this is Eminem's conscience, conscious album, right? It's him speaking to his people. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from it. He, we know everything that he's saying. He needs to get it out to his fans and 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 make them aware, like, hey, this is what's happening. So I'm looking at it from that point of view. It, like I said, there's three songs that I like. There's a track with him and Ed Sheeran. Dope. That should have been the first single. I don't know why that Beyonce track was even made. I don't know Eminem and Ed Sheeran. That sounds like the whitest thing Eminem's ever done. It is, but okay. it's dope. It's dope. It, if he's gonna go pop with it, I, I would have rather that been the first. Uh, <laughs> bizarre. I would rather have, have been the first single. Um, but he's he's a, he has a track where he's trying to spit like the rappers out today. He then he has a a wasted feature with fucking uh, Alicia Keys. That whole song is about Trump. The whole song is about Trump. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I'm not like I don't listen. We I my news feed, my Facebook feed, Instagram is all about Trump twenty four. I'm not. I don't want to go to the album and listen to that at yeah. all. Yeah, I think it's getting really saturated with the anti-Trump stuff. I I didn't listen to the album. I'm not gonna lie. I probably listened to five minutes of the first track. It's, no, um, five seconds of the first track. It was like I'm done with this whole album. Yeah, it's, and it's I checked out. It's a, it's one you can skip. He it's and you know with Jay Z putting out the album that he did. Um, yeah. Kendrick putting out the album that he did. Tribe. That, Tribe putting out the album that they um, did. What Gambino? Uh, Childish Gambino. That, I I just started listening to that again. Oh man, it's so good. Um, then I'm gonna come out with this garbage. You can't come out. We, you, your your peers are are like talking some grown man shit. Yes, and you're trying to pander to the pop audience. Like you're a rapper. You're a hip hop artist. You don't have to pander to them. And you're the quote unquote rap god, as you say. You don't have to pander to anybody else. Just make an album. Make a good album. Yeah, rap. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Is it me or is he starting to? Uh, look, myself pulled up a picture of him. Is it me or is he starting to look like a white Dr. Dre? Oh shit, he does. Little bit, right? It's a little <laughs> bit. That's why I guess that's why he grew the beard. Like like Dr. Dre with Vitiligo. Oh shit. Yeah, you stay <laughs> like you Uncle stay, Ruckus. You stay, you stay with somebody long enough, you look like him. Yeah, oh man. shit, man. But and then so I bring this up because uh, Joe Budden is an artist that's signed to his label. Joe uh, Budden, some of you remember, made a song that no one else remembers. <laughs> Disrespectful. But no, but he's got a great podcast though. Uh, like, the Joe Budden podcast, he, I listen to it all the time. He's, new, he's still, I mean, he's still rapping. He's not, you know, the nah, most nah, popular rap in the world. He's retired. Oh, did he? Is he, he? He's been retired. Yeah, he oh. he comes out, you know, with because if if you diss him and if you're big enough, he'll diss back. But he's retired. For the most part, he's out of there. Yeah. So no, he in his podcast, I listen to it. His every podcast time. is really good. I like it. Um, and. He and he he did a show called Everyday Struggle with Complex. Yes, on that it, that's a hip hop show. So it 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 discuss albums, things of that nature. Yes, he is signed to Shady. That doesn't mean he has to be a yes man. But yo, what is, if he's signed to Shady? What does he do if he's not rapping? Oh, because he oh Slaughterhouse is the group. He's a he, ah okay yeah, yeah Slaughterhouse yeah. is the group. He is signed to them signed to them as a group as a single art or as a as a solo artist. He's 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 done. 
Yeah. And Slaughterhouse hasn't even put out another album, but their first album was amazing. I f- yeah, I forgot about Slaughterhouse. Okay, yeah. So, so he signed to that. So that's why I thought he was still putting out music. Got you. Got you. He um he gave his opinion not on the album because he hasn't even according to the you know last I listened to the podcast mm-hmm. according to his last podcast he hasn't listened to the album yet, but he gave a critique on the song uh, that he came out with. It was if you listen to the song, it's like it starts off, it's, it's you know, black boy, black boy, why, why we always killing you, some shit like that. It was it was a bad song, like it's a terrible fucking song. Yeah, and he gave his honest opinion on it as he does with everything else. I don't see why just because I'm signed to you, just because I love you, that I can't give you my honest to God truth on yeah. whatever I think it is. Yes, we all know artists are sensitive, point blank. Period. However, he is a journalist now, quote unquote. He has to give the real. He can't be biased. People are expecting to hear an opinion from him. Yeah, and it, it I, I shared the same sentiments with him. I was like, I didn't doubt. I, I, you know, as soon as it was a release, I was like, shit, I need to listen to that song. And I listened to it. I'm like, this is garbage. Garbage. <laughs> this is fucking garbage. Um, And now, you know, uh, he came out with a diss track towards, not necessarily just Joe Button, but, you know, people that were critiquing the album and things of that nature. You can't get mad at how you are received. No, you know what I mean. If you made the album, if you if you hit that, said the album, oh, this is you know this is for my this is personal to me and blah blah blah. That just, listen, just say it's garbage. Like I don't, I didn't like. I like three songs on the album. After that, I couldn't stomach the rest of it. Yeah, and I I got introduced to Eminem by listening to the Eminem show. That's the first album I bought from him. Then I went back, mm-hmm. but that album and everything before that, amazing. Everything after that. He's been at a mess, man. Not, not, it's not, it's not been great. My, my whole thing with the whole, with the whole job button thing, yeah. So he signed, he signed to Shady. Mm. Okay, and everybody's like, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. Listen here, yeah. if you're a friend to somebody, mm. you it, it, look. I know you, you, you nailed it on the head. A lot of rappers want to surround themselves with yes men. You know what I mean? The, all they want is somebody to cater to their ego. That's not a real friend. Nope. That's somebody who's gonna suck your dick and hopefully you pay him off a little money. That's entourage. What you want is you want that one dude in your crew that's going to tell you what it is. Women, women do this especially. I'm sorry, ladies, please don't write me hate mail. But okay. you, you ask a woman, who's your real friend? Let's say you, you, you going out to a club. You got two of your homegirls outside in the living room. You come out and you look crazy. Mm. All right, you just put on some crazy, like you got shoulder pads on. You just all kinds of fucked up. Fucked up. Like shoulder pads and Bermuda shorts. You walk outside. You got two of your homegirls. One of them looks at you and says, oh my good, girl, oh my goodness, girl, you are killing it. Start snapping her fingers and shit. <laughs> other other homegirl looks at you and says, no, bitch, you look a hot mess. Go back into that room and try again. Which one of those two is your real friend? Exactly. This is what's happening with Joe. Joe's real, Joe's keeping it real with Em. He's like, yo, this album sucked, man. Or this song, this song. one track yeah. was not good. He, the song, the track list, because he, did, he didn't, it, <clears throat> he, I, from watching the podcast and watching that, uh, uh, the Complex or Everyday Struggle, he is, he's a, mu- he's a music guy. Ha- rap, hip hop, uh, R&B, he listens to it all. Um, he, he gives his honest opinion on everything. Yeah. Why wouldn't he? <clears throat> Sorry. In the show, he's like, yeah, Eminem is one of the people that I can't, you know what I mean? Because, but he's like, nah, if I, I'm gonna call a spade a spade. This shit is trash. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, it, he didn't say nothing bad about him. He's just like, yo, this track wasn't great. He he had his opinions on why these things came mm-hmm. about and things of that nature. But ultimately, he's like, this is not, he feels as though this wasn't M's decision. It it doesn't sound good. And Eminem, so he puts out a remix to one of the songs on the album called Chloroseptic with him, Two Chains, and some guy named Fresher. I've never heard of Fresher. You know, I'm an advocate for Two Chains. Uh. <clears throat> so. But the song, his part. This is this is what was missing from the album, him spitting like like rapping, and he goes in on everybody, you know, the critics on the album, or you know, oh, I, you know, just talking about how the process was and things of that nature, and just shits on everybody. Yeah. Again, that's cool, dude. This was what need, this was what was needed on the album. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I listened to that track too, and I thought it sounded like Eminem's audition for epic rap battles of history. Oh, Dios mio. Yeah, no, I'm going, no. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I mean, I, if you're telling me that this should have been on the on the album, I, I'm happy I didn't listen to the rest of that it's, album. It's not good. This track was, I, I thought, it's not that it was garbage. It's just, I, I didn't like it. I'm listening to it like this. Sounds like shit. It, this, it, sound, this sounds like some newbie rapper who's trying to make a mark instead of a legend who's, 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 trying, to, who's trying to address some shit. And that's what, like I said, his peers, Jay, 
um, Kendrick. Everybody's releasing a more adult. Even the Fab Fabulous and Jada Kiss album. Yeah. Um, that album was amazing, and it's it's adult contemporary. Like it's yeah. they're speaking about real shit. I think that's what he was trying to do, but he was just way fucking left with it. And again, I I, I just I sum it up to this was not made for me. I'm I'm still reeling back that you just called Jada Kiss and Fabulous record adult contemporary. Bro, that's what it sounds like. Right now I'm fitting them in with Dave Matthews band and I'm having a real <laughs> hard time with that right now. <laughs> no, it's grown that's the, next, that's the next tour. It's Dave Matthews band touring college is opening up for them as Fabulous and Jada Kiss. <laughs> nice. Nice. No. <laughs> So you got that album, you got the 444. Like, like they're speaking on real things. These are albums that you are learning things from. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is stuff that's making you open your eyes. And I think this is not for us to open our eyes. This is for his fans to open their eyes to what's going on in our community. So that's all I can chalk it up to. Because if you listen to it, you hear it. But it's just not done. It's not executed right. You know what I mean? You can yeah. be conscious. I, I've listened to conscious rap and conscious everything. <clears throat> There's a way to exit. I was just talking to you about the NERD album. Yeah, that shit yeah, is were. super conscious. But you you really have to listen because it's, it's 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 drowned by like his his their, their style of music. Right. So it's it's them. But if you really listen to the words, I'm like oh shit, hey that's oh shit that's what's going on right now. Like you really have to listen to it. And uh, they got like two songs with Kendrick, and they brought back my man Andre Three Thousand. Yo, I listened to that track. That's the first Andre Three Thousand track that I listened to that I did not like. It didn't. Hmm. No. Hmm. It's a long ass track. It is a long ass track. And I listened to the whole thing. And it was, you know, it's not that I did not like it. It's just, I, when it comes to Andre 3000, yo, more. my bar is way high yeah, for yeah. him. Yeah, you expect more. And this wasn't, it, it's kind of like the whole Eminem. And here's the thing with that Eminem album. Here's the thing with Chloroseptic. Chloroseptic, you're right. It's not a bad track. My standard for Eminem is so much higher than that crap. Exactly. That sounded like a YouTube rapper. Mm. No, M. No, no. You are, be you are better than Chloroseptic. Mm -hmm. You are better than this whole fucking album. People, like, I don't want people to think that I'm trashing Eminem. No, no, I hold Eminem to one of the exactly. highest respects I can hold a rapper. But that shit didn't meet his standard. Mm -hmm. Like, no, yeah. you don't. You don't give me ether and then give me chloroseptic. He didn't give Fuck you, ether. you. He didn't give you ether. He he gave us. Oh wait, no. Um, it was Nas. He gave you. Um, sorry, Mama. He gave you a whole no, lot of shit. One, there was one he did with uh, Renegade. Renegade, Renegade Jay-Z, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because Ether shouted out Eminem yeah. on, on, on Ether. That's what it was. Yeah. Eminem murdered you Eminem on your own, own shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 So my bad. No, Eminem was like, you don't give me the verse from Renegade. Yeah. And then give me this shit. I still skip Jay-Z's verse. I forgot it was a Jay-Z song. I, I, that's crazy. <laughs> it, I, I, I just said it was it. Ether because I didn't even want to acknowledge Jay-Z had anything to do with Renegade. I Damn. totally forgot it was on that album. Yeah, I, I, the Renegade is my shit. That's a classic. You, but you're yeah, right. So, so right. I go back on that. You're going to give me that verse and then you're going to give me Chloroseptic? Mm -hmm. Well, fuck yourself. No, you don't do that. You don't pull a switcheroo on me. You don't promise me a mansion and give me a fucking duplex in the PJs. No, <laughs> no. That's what oh, he man. did. Yeah, and he yeah. brought two chains along for the ride. Why? Because he's amazing. Mm. Who the fuck is Fresher? I don't know. You couldn't find. Oh, you couldn't find another rapper. I don't know who the fuck. Fresher Jay Z is. busy. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Calling out bizarre. Um, Oh, Bizarre. Uh, bizarre oh, it was calling Bizarre out calling out Joe Budden. Yeah. Who the fuck is Bizarre? Oh, my God. Bizarre. Nobody remembers. <laughs> nobody remembers I remember that who dude. Bizarre is. Don't nobody listen to him. Nobody listens to him. Nah, it, yeah, that shit bugged out, too, because he's like, this, he's the one that's like, oh, don't bite the hand that feeds you, and he was signed to him, and oh, it's going to be a you, cold you, day you, for you. I can't say it, but you had the perfect name for him. He's a fucking house nigga. Mm -hmm. like, I, like, we don't ever, ever say, mention those things in regards to Eminem, because he's, a, he's one of us. But yeah. shit, Bizarre defending that like that, yeah, you sound like a goddamn can, house. Can, nigga. can we scroll? Oh, can we scroll back up, Marcel? Oh, can we scroll back up a little bit to the to the tweet? Because what was what, what was it he said? Oh no, scroll back up to uh, the picture of Bizarre. Because there's something there's something I noticed when I saw his picture. All the way up there. Don't he look like Uncle Ruckus? He do like <laughs> Uncle Ruckus. God damn! I dare you come out here talking shit about all these white people. <laughs> Why people, that's, why that's people exactly put food on our plate? Like. Yeah, that's exactly he what it sounded like. He looked like Uncle Ruckus, and that's what it sounded like. And then the tweet that Royster59 posted up about it. Mm. Um, here's my one question. Royster59 put a screenshot up. Why your battery only at 20%, bro? Step your charger game up. Oh, my God. How you going to put up a straight up screenshot and not charge your battery? Come on, crop that shit out, son. Jesus You're better Christ. than that, Royce. Like, it's it's ridiculous. And, and right, Royce is another one that's a dope-ass rapper. Like, yeah, he's, he is. he's fucking dope. Um, But my thing is... 
No, you're not gonna get if I'm whatever I'm doing, and you're my friend, and you if you don't tell me the truth about the shit that I'm doing, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, I need to know what it is. Yeah, I'm never gonna be like because I'm gonna I'm gonna respect you for telling me what it is. Yeah. No, everybody coming after Joe say, oh, you going after M? No, he's not. He's, no. He, he's holding M to a stand and he's reminding M, yo, you were better than this, bro. Exactly. And so that's I'm when M released that. You know what it is? The, the, that whole thing started with, I t- I'm telling you this because I love you. It did, though. But that track sucked. It did. It did. Because he loves him. Like, he yeah. holds M, like you said, he holds M to a high regard. And dude. If Bizarre came out with this track, I keep my mouth shut. Ha! Yeah, yeah. there you go. There you go. <laughs> I but, keep uh, my mouth, I don't say anything, but you came out with this track and you came out with this. No. Yeah, I expect to hear the truth. Like, what I used to do photography back in the day, I, you, first of all, when you do anything like that, period, you, you open yourself up for criticism. Yeah. Okay? You have to be ready for whatever comes, good, bad, or indifferent. How, how did rappers used to be the hardest dudes on the block, and now they got the thinnest skin in the industry? Because of fucking social media, bro. How did that happen? They, they but they've been, they've been sensitive. It's just now that they can see it readily available. You used to have to read, like you have to get the magazine and read shit. They, now they just go to the comment section on the last picture they posted. You suck. The whole thing. <laughs> like, it's, like it's, it's, it sucks because you're, you're, you're seeing, it's, you're seeing a different side of your favorite artist that you may have not wanted to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to see, I never want, like I said this on, way back on a couple episodes ago, I never wanted to see the bullshit that Wu-Tang Clan was up to back in the day. I never want to see what new chain Jay Z got in '97. Like I don't like, but now that shit is always posted to their social media, and I, yeah. I don't get. I put a fucking song out, my nigga. Like go tour. Yeah, unless you unless you got a record release, I don't I don't want to hear from yeah. you. Yeah, and you, bizarre running around here defending this man. He can't do that with these fucking H and M hoodies running around. I want to see somebody Photoshop bizarre into the outfit that Samuel L. Jackson wore in Django. Oh my god, that's right. I yeah. said it. Yeah, or Photoshop that damn coolest monkey in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <this thing. laughs> no. yo, like you don't just, you I'm, just. I'm too white to say that, but yes, yes, I would love to see your picture of Bizarre <laughs> wearing that hoodie. <laughs> nah, man, like come on, you can't, you can't. Like I, I, I really expect to hear the honest to God truth in anything I do, and I'm sure you feel the same in anything you do, because I don't. If I have a bunch of yes men around me, I'm never gonna know the real. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like, the only reason I'm, you know, doing stand-up, the only reason I've gotten to where I am now is because I've had other comics come up to me and tell me, like, you're better than that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I do, if I come up with a with a bid or something that I'm like, yeah, I'm proud of that, they're like, why? Yeah, why? You're better than that. That ain't for you, And if so. it wasn't for that, I wouldn't write better jokes. Exactly. If you got a nigga that's like, oh, yeah, man, that was great. Then you'd be oh, doing the same. You don't do, that's how you grow, man. Yeah. Or even if it's, even if it is a good bit, let's say I'm doing it six months down, like, you still doing the same five minute bit? Exactly. You ain't wrote nothing new. Exactly, and and it's, it's just something I had to explain to my daughter very on, early on in our in our relationship, because she 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 couldn't take constructive criticism. So I'm like, let me tell you something. Yes, I love you, and whatever you do, I will forever support. But I'm gonna give you the honest to God truth on anything that you do. You know that. Yeah. And whether you whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, I have to give it to you because that's how you grow. Like even now to this day, she comes to me with anything she has to do. Yeah, and I'm cool with that. But just understand that I'm going to give you what my my honest to god opinion is. Look at look at athletes. Look at all the athletes. Who do athletes respect more than anyone? Fucking people. The reporters. The coach. Yeah. Oh, the coach. Yep. True. Especially the coach who helped them develop. True. True. You know, like, oh man, my high school coach, my middle school coach. You know why that coach did so much? Because they told you what you needed to improve on. They called you out. Like, what the hell are you doing? You run faster than that. Get back out there. Give me three more laps. Mm-hmm. You're better than that. Don't half fast. Don't half fast. That's what every coach tells you. Stop half fasting. There you go. And just when in, in when when people do that to their musicians, say, "Hey, stop half assing. You're better than this." Oh, now he talking shit about me. No, he ain't. No, it's not hating. He pushing and, that, you. and I hate that shit. Oh, oh he just sees hating. potential in you, and he's pushing you to meet that potential. Oh, yeah. Why are you such a punk? <laughs> mm? <For> real. <laughs> Oh man, I'm about to go watch that Dave Chappelle shit again. Just <laughs> <laughs> shit was so yeah. Anybody funny. who hasn't watched the new Dave Chappelle special, holy wow! I, I'm, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna walk something back. I said on a previous podcast, uh, not on this one, but one of the other shows, I said the uh, Dave Chappelle special uh, compared to Three Mics by Neil Brennan. Yeah, you could tell who the funnier writer out of that pair was. Mm-hmm. Uh, after watching this new Equanimity, mm-hmm. holy shit, man! Yeah, Chappelle one of the funniest motherfuckers. I'm dope, alive. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Chappelle one of the funniest motherfuckers alive, man. That dude is great. Check that special out. <laughs> yes, yes, Netflix now. Anyway, yeah. So speaking I, of things we're watching, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna segue to. Um, 
Yeah, man, we've been watching. I've been discovering a whole lot of other shit and, and bouncing some stuff off of um, Jay. Um, we definitely haven't talked much about TV, but... We haven't. And you know what I realized? Because when we were coming up with this list, I'm not watching much TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm, to be honest with you, I, I only found the show that I'm going to talk about first because of some shit that happened at work. <laughs> like, that's the only way I found it. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, man, what are you watching? Um, So I'm watching... You're going to have the big thing on this list. What I'm watching right now... <laughs> Uh, I always got the big thing I, on this. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I hate you. I hate you so hard. Um, right now, what I'm really watching, I, I like documentaries. I'm a nerd. I'm the mm. first one to admit to that shit. Mm. And I don't mean like a comic book nerd or a comic book movie nerd. I, I like documentaries. Like to me, Ken Burns is my spirit animal. Nice. All right. You give me the Ken Burns Civil War documentary, I will watch it always. He's got a good documentary on jazz. He's got a great documentary on baseball. Um I, I like documentaries, and this is documentary out on Netflix now, Myths and Monsters. Mm. Um, it, it, it's a documentary about the history of storytelling and how it affected human development. I, I, I'm, I'm more of a storyteller comic. I'll get on stage and I, you know, I tell, you know, I, I don't pop quick one line of jokes as much as I tell more stories. So, you know, and, and I try to, you know, that's really what I focus on. So, as a storyteller, watching this and go, them, they're going into like old school, like. Russian, like Slavic myths, wow. ancient Greek myths. This is a docu series. Yeah, it's a docu series, oh, about seven episodes. Uh, the first one goes into heroes. Uh, the next one goes into uh, scenery. You know, like how how the outside world affected storytelling and how the the view of that society at that time. Mm. You know, for focus on that story and really, you know, you look at that story and really see how these people were thinking politically and stuff like that. Like it really goes into a lot of different landscapes. <laughs> And uh, and what went into make, uh, making those stories miss? I love it, and and nice. it's a British dude narrating it too. Uh, yeah. And what's good is they actually go through a story and they'll di- dissect it during the episode. But there's really cool animation that goes on during the story, so it really does get you in. Check that out, um, I, man. I'm geeking hard about this show. I love it. I'm like three. It's six uh, six episodes, I believe. I'm on the third one. I, I'm hooked. And the only reason I'm on the third one is because I keep watching it. I keep like rewatching watching the episode. It? I have to watch it like two or three times. Because you're getting more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. it's really, really well done. Check it out. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, no. It's mi- missing monsters on Netflix. Yeah, I'm gonna check that one out. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, this one, uh, Crashing. I discovered it on, on HBO. Crashing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. I know the second season just started. Yeah, like I yesterday. So I haven't watched it yet, but I did watch the first season as it came out. Mm-hmm. You know, it's I, like because I came to you as soon as I was, I was like, "Yo, you know," but he's like, "Hell yeah, that shit is like the truest you'll get to how it is to be in a stand-up comic in New York." Everybody has a different experience. Everyone does, but mm-hmm. you, everyone, even though everyone has different experience, everyone still has that shared experience. You know, the, the, there's always that one common thread. Mm-hmm. And crashing, I mean, it, it's obviously fictional, fictionalized, mm-hmm. and you know, some things are done up for effect. But for the most part, man, crashing. My first three years in New York was essentially crashing. That's crazy. You know, like first three years as a stand-up comic trying to do something. You know, there's a lot of open mics. There's a lot of barking. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for those barking is when, if you've ever been in New York, you always hear those guys, hey, free comedy show. Free yeah. comedy show. Hey, you want to check out a comedy show? Hey, minimum. Comedy Central Comics. Yo, mm-hmm. two of you, I'll get you one for free. Take this. Those are barkers. Yeah. And, that, and those guys, they're not getting paid. All they're trying to do is get stage time at the end of the night. And I remember going to clubs and, and you know, Going to open mics and then somebody coming up and say, hey, I do this show at this club. I, if you bark for me, you can come on. So you're just standing out in the corner, passing out flyers, trying to get people in through the door. Just so hopefully three hours after the show starts, you can do a five minute bit for two people who are too drunk to leave. Man. You know what I mean? That's essentially what being a stand up comic is at first. And if you don't want to bark, you have to bring people. Yeah. yeah, I just I'm, I'm lucky if I get five people at my funeral. That's not even enough for pallbearers. <laughs> it's not. You want me to bring twenty people so I can do five minutes at the Gotham? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Shit, and it's it's crazy. And and it, oh, aside from the stand up too, it's 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 basically this guy Pete Holmes. Um, Pete Holmes, yeah. He plays a you know a, a Bible. Not a, I don't want to say Bible thumping kid, but he's a very religious comic. Yeah, very very devout, very religious, very. Yeah. So him and his very strong wife. morals. Yeah, yes. yeah. He's not a boring yes. character, but he's, he's very he's very morally driven. Yes, and his wife in the very first episode, you know, she's trying to spice things up. It's not working now. He's a little boring. She, yeah. he comes back in the house and she's fucking somebody else. Yeah, an art teacher. Yeah, and he he's one of the funniest parts of the show to me too. I, I'm not a huge Pete Holmes fan. I do like some of his Batman YouTube videos, mm. um, because you know that's who that is, right? 
What do you mean? Oh, the Batman parodies, like the Batman versus oh. Superman. That's it. That's Batman. Are you serious? Yeah, that's him. Wow. <laughs> Um, and, and you know he had the Pete Holmes show on TBS for the while, and some of it was funny. I'm just not a huge. I'm not. Mm. I don't dislike him. I'm just not a huge Pete Holmes fan. But I really like this. Nah, and yeah. what I really like is his character too. It goes not just for him trying to make it as a comic, but you really see his loss of innocence. Yes. Like you see how New York City change, can, can change someone. Yes. Yeah. So oh was, man, and it, this new episode it really fucked yo. I can't it, wait for you to watch it. It's a cool undertone that you know mm-hmm. it's not really front and center with the theme, but you see it. You like mm-hmm. you see it happening at the same time, so that's cool. Yeah, no, um, I really like this show. I, I'm gonna stick around with that one because it, it's 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 good. It it it's giving me you know it's giving me a different perspective on on different ways think uh, people do to you know just live out their dream. Yeah, that's basically his whole thing is this is my dream, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah. So. Hey, I, I, that's dope. And I'm sorry that you had to do all that because that shit sounds brutal as fuck. Uh, I was happy to do it. <laughs> and that's another that's thing. That's the only it, reason yeah. I got good, man. Yeah, true, true. Cause <laughs> that's, if you, how, if you, that's how you get good. You get out, you grind. That's Dave Chappelle. We're going to go back to that special. Mm-hmm. Called it out. It's like, if you have a dream, you're willing to push. If you let if you let one thing happen to you and they're like, that ruined my dream, you probably never had a dream. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, man. But yeah, you told me about this next one, though. Um, was it Parenthood? Oh, no, no, no. You were going to talk about This Is Us first. Oh, well, This Is... Yeah. yeah oh, man. This Is Us is... is First of all, so the premise is uh, this couple. It's a white couple. Uh, she was pregnant... Well, they got to be white. Because that's the story. Because they are. <laughs> <laughs> this white couple, uh, she was pregnant with triplets. Mm-hmm. Um, and they lost one of them. On the same day they lost one of them, somebody left the black baby on the, on the steps of a, of a fire department. So they ended up adopting the black kid. So they have their their triplets, and yeah. they raise them as their own. You know what I mean? You can't you can't tell them any different. And it just goes through how their lives are from, and it keeps going back to from the beginning, you know, when they're babies, so when they're like kids, and then they're grown adults. They're all you know. Super oh wait, successful. this is all the same family? I thought this was like different families. Oh in no, one it's show. all the same family. <gasps> yeah, all the same family. What? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I when it it it, 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 it the first episode it does that to you because. It, I saw. I only saw. I seen it. I seen the trailer for it when mm-hmm. it, before it came out, and I remember. I remember being hooked, but I never. I never actually watched it. Yeah, and it. it the, so the very first episode, you see, like it makes it looks like it's two separate families yeah. or three separate families actually, and you you see them go back and forth, back and forth, and it doesn't show what year any of this is in. Yeah. Until the end of the first episode, where it pans out and you see people smoking in the hospital. And like what the fuck? What year is this? And then it shows the, the, how the old nurse outfits, and then you realize that the parents are in the past, and oh, the kids are in the future. Man. So it's going every everything that's happening to them now, and what happened to them back then so to kinda, make them the way they are now. So they don't make it obvious until the end. They kind of M Night Shyamalan you went to. Yeah, it. yeah. In in the beginning, oh. yeah. It's so good, and it, and it's 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 I, you know people say they cry. I haven't cried yet. Maybe the first, last episode kind of got me, <laughs> but it's it's heavy, man. It's heavy shit. They did you know a lot of the race stuff because you know it's a black kid growing up with the white family. Yeah. Um. How do you fucking spread your time out to all three kids at the same time? Yeah. That's crazy. So of course one is jealous and the other, you know, the other one, the the, the girl has weight issues, mm. and she's a little bit jealous of her mom. So you know she sees her mom wears a small, and she wears like an extra large, and she feels like her mom is always you know you know. Just downing her. She, she's, you know how parents are. Yeah, you know what I mean. So stuff like that. And then the the old, or the the other boy or the white dude, just feels though he didn't get as much attention from everybody as he should have. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then they all feel like well, the black dude's name is Randall. They feel like he's the favorite because he got the most of the attention. It's it's a lot. And then it, it deals with their family, so his family, and then you know, I don't want to tell you everything. But yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good show. I could, I could go on, but I, I really do like this show. It's it's really good. Um, but it goes on. It's, it's, it's a whole family aspect of it. It's, the, it's them in the past, them now, and with their families and how they're dealing with their shit. Yeah. The girl with her weight issues, she finds somebody um, who also has weight issues, but he's trying to work and she's fucking difficult. But it's it's a lot. I want to check that out, man. And, and the reason, and so, and that brings me into Parenthood because you were talking about that. That's the show that last episode made you cry. Mm-hmm. Man, I remember, I started watching Parenthood. Mm. Um, now I remember watching the movie Parenthood uh, with uh, Steve Martin. Mm. It was a good movie, and and this is you know this TV show is kind of like in that same universe. It, you know, it's the same writers and stuff. Um, Parenthood is that one show I have cried every episode I've ever watched. I'm a big dude. I'm a war vet. It takes a lot to rattle me. Every episode, box of tissues and, so, and some aloe for my nose. Dude, I remember the first time I started watching this was about two Christmases ago. I was at my sister's house. And I was sitting in the living room. We were all visiting my sister in Tampa. 
everybody's kind of hanging out doing their thing, taking a nap. I was up in the living room. I saw watching Netflix. I see Parenthood. I saw Craig T. Nelson was in it. That's Coach, for those nice. that don't know. Yes, yes. And uh, I'm like, all right, let me check this show out. I've heard good things about it. They got the mom from Gilmore Girls 2 in it. Mm. Sure, let's give it a whirl. Um, also, oh, the dude, uh, Michael Malley from Guts. Remember that on Nickelodeon? Really? He, yeah, oh, he's yeah, on the yeah, show. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let me check this out. Yeah, I remember that show. Let's give it, let's Eat give that. it a shot. Man, I'm talking about 30 minutes into the first episode. I'm sitting there on the couch sniffling like I'm oh, watching man. the view. <laughs> just just sniffling. My, and my sister walked by just at that moment. She happened to walk to her room. Mm -hmm. She saw me crying. She didn't say nothing, but she just, okay. And then she walked back to, to the kitchen. Uh, next episode, same thing. I'm, something yeah. happens. I'm crying. My sister walks, happens to walk by at that moment, sees me sniffling, goes to her room, kind of looks at me, judges me a little bit, goes to her room, doesn't say shit, walks back to the kitchen. Third episode, same fucking thing's happening. I'm crying and I'm, I'm openly sobbing at this point. I'm not just <laughs> sniffling. I'm like, like, I got tears coming. I got a box of tissue with me at Dang, that point. I want to see My this. sister comes back. She's like, what the fuck are you watching? And she looks at the TV. She's like, oh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like, oh, she grabbed her chest. And she's like, oh, every time. And then she sat next Man. to me on the couch and we shared a box of tissues oh together. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, every episode, and then and it's not always like sentimental family. Like there's some, there's a there's part of the show where one of the daughters starts dating a, a, a an Afghanistan veteran, and they they go into the PTSD episode, and I'm just bawling, just bawling, crying. I'm like, oh god, they fucking nailed it, man. Damn, dude, I gotta check that shit out. Yo, that is an emotional. Whoever wrote Parenthood, that show is an emotional terrorist. <laughs> And you know why they canceled the show? Because you don't negotiate with terrorists. Jesus Christ! <laughs> now it sound, it's, I'm I'm not one because I don't. I, I started watch actually. I listened to the Joe Budden podcast, and I see that he was talking about the little, you know this is us thing. And he was you know going through it, um, and I usually don't watch shows of him crying and all that yeah. other shit. But I was like, I right, mean, the wife can sit down and watch this. I definitely want to check out this parent parenthood shit. I, I heard I heard a lot of good things about it's it. It's on Netflix, man. It's worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna it's check definitely it out. it's on it. There's this one kid. There's a kid on the show named Max. He's autistic. Mm -hmm. I always thought he looked like Jack White from the White Stripes. Wow. I'm like, oh, Jack White's son got in got a got a gig. <laughs> got a gig. And then, I, and then uh, Lorraine told me she's like, uh, I don't think Jack White has a son. I was like, <laughs> oh, damn it, man. Well, shit, could have fooled me. Hey, man. I hope this kid don't take him to court. <laughs> he just might. Damn, that's him. Yeah. Holy shit. He looks like Jack White. He does. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn. Well, yeah, man. That, that's, again, I, I, I'm not into those type of shows, but of late, I guess it's the old age kicking in. Yeah. Uh, yo, I'm going to be 30 this year. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Welcome. Welcome to 30. You know what being 30 means? Means you have Advil at home and Advil at work. I do. <laughs> I fucking that's do. That's what that means. Damn it, man. Anyway, um, moving right along. Uh, this, this, is a, this is a new one. Uh, Grownish. It's a spinoff of Blackish. Okay, I was about to ask that. Yeah, yeah I never yeah. heard of this. Yeah, no, it's it's a spinoff of Blackish. It's with his daughter going off to college or whatever. And Blackish. Oh, it's kind of like a different world to the Cosby Show. Right, but right, right, right. Okay, okay yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, even think Denise about that. Yeah, Denise was in a different world. You're right, you're right. I forgot about that. Yeah, so this is her going off to college and a whole different set of characters. Um, Blackish, phenomenal show. Love the writing. I, I, yeah, I remember when it first came out, and I was totally against it. Mm -hmm. I remember there was a lot of negative press coming up, so I never gave it a chance. Because yep, of the I name. Never gave it a chance. And uh, then I saw a couple of clips, and I'm like, man, I, I saw a couple of clips, and I'm like, where the hell is this from? And somebody told me Blackish. I was like, damn, I need to stop shitting yeah, on this show and a, get on. It's a really good show. They deal with a lot. Of, like They just had an episode. I know we're talking about. Well, I, well, we're talking about what we're watching. I'm watching Blackish too. They had an episode where he just got diabetes. And I was like, shit. Oh man! You know my wife sat next to me. Hmm? See, see. Hmm. <laughs> so what was, there was one clip I saw. It was like two dudes in a board meeting talking about which Latinos can say the N word yes, and which ones yes. can't. Is that like, yo? That that first of all, that's them every episode. <laughs> They're just so disconnected from reality. Like it's just, they just say the worst shit. I love like, it. Like Jay yeah. like Ricky Martin can't say the N word. Fat Joe can. Yes. Like, what? what? Yes. <laughs> but it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like yo, oh my god! Unless that, you're Dominican. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that show is hilarious. And but they deal with real shit. They deal with the postpartum depression, diabetes, yeah. getting old. Grownish, on the other hand, like I said, different set of characters. This shit is not like I would watch Blackish with my kids. Yeah, Grown, they're cursing and shit, and they're doing drugs. This is a drug dealer on the show. It looks like Drake. He's like a fucking Indian Drake. 
And he's, he's like, yeah, sell drugs. I don't want to be like my father. Like, I don't want to, I don't want, he's, he's, all these years, he's just been a cab driver. He's a loser. So I'm going to sell drugs while I'm going to school and doing my thing. Uh, she, his daughter, popping pills so she can focus on doing her work. Um, this kid named Luca just is one of free-spirited, open, His name's Luca, yeah, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see a dude you know that I mean? looks, is he black? He's, yeah, he's light skin. I think Jaden Smith. Okay, because I was thinking more Bronson Pinshot. I don't know who the fuck Because that is. you're not 30 yet, but that's okay. <laughs> the older people listening to this episode right now will appreciate that. God damn it. Cousin! Guess I gotta <laughs> fucking hashtag that one. Um, yeah, so it's it's different. Um, it's only two episodes in. I like it. I like it so far. Um, the the actress, uh, Shahira Shadid or something like that, she's she's a she's gonna go far, man. She's a really good dope actress. Um this part is perfect for her, of course, of course, but I can see her doing a lot. More bigger and better things going in her career, and she's she's still young, yeah, she's still young. So and she's fucking beautiful. Like that's it's crazy. I was like, this is a this is this can't be. This she's too pretty for this show. And then when you see her character, you're like oh, she fits. She yeah. f- totally fits. No, I, I need to get off of black. I need to get off of shitting on blackish and actually give it a chance. And then this, I had no, idea, I had no idea this was a thing. Just came out my because my daughter she was, she told me about. It. I was like, oh, I want to watch Grownish. All right, give me. A, I don't normally screen shit. Mm-hmm. But I let me watch it and see what's going on. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I want her watching the, the youngest one. I don't want her watching this <laughs> yeah. one yet. My oldest one, she's she's sixteen. I mean, if it's talking about the stuff, I mean, it's talking about real stuff that happens in college. So I've heard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. Yeah, no, it's it is. It's it's, it's it's that's what is happening. So for my oldest daughter, sure, watch it. But my youngest, not not yet. Stick to your Fuller House right now. Just just watch that real quick. All right. But yeah, definitely yeah, stop shitting on Blackish, bro. It's pretty good. It's really good. All right, really good. Um, another one we're watching on Hulu, uh, Hulu, Hulu original, The Runaways, the Marvel Runaways. They just film, uh, they just had the season finale, right? Uh, damn, I hope. Uh, damn, I think I just, so. I just watched one. I don't know if it was a season finale. I have to rewatch it because we wasn't paying attention. It might have been the season finale. Yeah, I think, I think they just edit. Uh, I'm not watching it just because Lorraine and Annabelle have that. That's their thing. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, they love that show. It's it's Lorraine. Good. Lorraine has a pretty high bar. Like if she likes the show. Like I love the Flash. Yes, she hates it. She thinks it's the biggest piece of crap. On, not Jeez. the biggest, but she thinks it's one of the biggest pieces of craps on TV. But she really likes the Runaways, and she's she's been telling me about it. She's like, you need to watch this. You need to watch this. It's good. And I said, okay, when we finish Ozarks and the yeah. Punisher and Atypical and oh. everything else. What's the one you put me on to? The serial killer one? Uh, Dangerous Minds. No, no, not Dangerous Minds. Um. Mindhunter. Mindhunter. I still haven't finished. I'm still oh. like two. I'm still on the second episode. Not put mi- you on it. You're the second episode? Yeah. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> I finished the whole shit twice. Yo, real life is real. <laughs> You're right. You're right. God damn. But no, nah, uh, Runaways is dope. Uh, these characters are good. I think they, they cast them perfectly. Um, it's just getting it's just getting more progressively better. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't digging the black family at first, but that's because I'm comparing this black family to the fucking, this is us black family. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I, like, like you, you guys need to step your fucking game up. But- it's good. The characters okay. are growing. Um, it, you see, you see a lot of of potential of where it could go. And this was this a graphic novel, so it's it's definitely gonna be around for a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be around for a little yeah, bit. I've I hope, heard really good reviews about it. I need that's one of the ones I need to catch up on. Do you think they would two. pull that from Hulu? Because that is Marvel, Disney. I don't know. Mm. Y'all give us a call, Disney. Let us know what you're well, doing. Well, yeah, because well, if Disney bought out Fox, Fox on thirty percent. Yeah, so I think I think I look. I really think Hulu Disney's just going to use Hulu as their streaming service. That could be it. I, I I think they already you know Hulu's already built in. It's already a brand that people recognize. I think Disney's just going to buy them out. Shit, they already the own majority. The majority owners. The majority owners now. So I, I mean, might as well. Why why have the majority? Why have majority ownership of a streaming service that everybody recognizes? Hulu was the first big streaming before Netflix even. It was. I was yeah. streaming on Hulu before because yeah, Netflix right. was still DVDs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Hulu was the first thing, and, and even then, Netflix was like, "Oh, we'll only give you the previous seasons." Yo, Hulu, I could watch the episode from last night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Because I used to watch this shit right on the computer. It because it, it used to be free. Yeah, it did. Like the whole thing used to. It was be just free. like shit. I missed it last night. I could get it on Hulu. Yeah. Shit. I don't know, man. It would be dope. And you, you, you do make sense if they that, Unle- unless it, unless that's just gonna keep Hulu as like all the networks. I mean, and still make money off of that, and then still do their own thing. 
I think that would be. I feel like that stretching themselves thin, but yeah, that would. I mean, it's kind of like criminal mastermind genius. You know what I mean? Like, oh, we have our own streaming service, but we also have this streaming service exactly that lets everybody play. (laughs) I don't know, man. We gotta get into that. We gotta dive a little deeper. If anybody's gonna be an evil mastermind, it's gonna be the descendants of Walt Disney. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, uh, don't fuck up the check, bro. Don't fuck up the check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh. Um, so this one hasn't come out yet, um, but we just watched the tra- uh, the trailer for it. Netflix, Ooh. Netflix's uh, what is it? Altered Carbon. This shit looks Ooh. crazy. And then when they real when you realize it's a series, yo, Netflix is not fucking around. No man, let me. Netflix Nef- is putting their money in shit. Netflix has been killing it. They, um, they what was the bat- Bright? Bright was the last big oh, release. Oh, Bright. Yo, Bright has been getting slammed by critics. Bright has been getting slammed by by some you know some fans. I watched it yesterday. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I like it. I, I watched, liked it quite I watched a, lot, it a lot. Actually, I liked it way more than I thought I would. Lorraine does not like Will Smith. Mm. She watched the first ten minutes and she's like, "I like this <laughs> because it's the because it's not you got the the world that they're building is 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 interesting." I think people got too caught up in the fact that it's very real world, mm-hmm. but then there's orcs. And elves and, and World of Warcraft and magic. Yeah, wands. And I'm looking at it like you know what? This is just if World of Warcraft evolved along. This is you take uh, the Lord of the Rings mm-hmm. and you, let's pretend that that's the medieval period in real life and just fast forward it up to 2018. Mm-hmm. That's exactly that's what, what you're getting. I, I, and I love I, it. I, love, I it. love how they did that, and I love the world that they're creating. I I fucking like Will Smith again. Um, <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, you do. Um, Joe uh, Joel Edgerton, I yeah, love his character yeah, playing yeah. the orc. I, that that was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like that the one King Orc is from Miami originally. Uh, <laughs> uh, always <laughs> like, gotta be. In there, I was a cab driver. In, oh no, I was a bus driver in Miami. I came out here and I'm the biggest drug kingpin in LA. <laughs> Get at me. Yeah, um, so ridiculous. yeah, yeah, big up for Miami. Uh, but yeah, no, the not that I want anybody from Miami to be a drug kingpin. Hold on, let me I, l- yeah, let the dad yeah, come out real yeah, quick. Yeah, Columbia. Yeah, listen, hey, you don't <laughs> judge. Okay, fine, judge. Yeah, I'm but <laughs> so Netflix has been killing it with the originals, man. Yeah. And Alter Carbon looks, looks- inc- the premise mm-hmm. behind it. That you can just you can just keep somebody's consciousness mm-hmm. stored just and then just put them in a new body, just download or upload it onto a new body, mm-hmm. and now you have that same third, that same consciousness, that same person, just in a new body. Like they were saying, what the the main character was asleep for two hundred fifty years. Two hundred fifty years. The body that he's in now has muscle memory for combat and all those other yeah. like that shit. Like I'm, it, it could be a piece of shit, but visually. This looks incredible. Looks and amazing. That with the story like that, mm-hmm. the, like they have him investigating. Some guy paid him to investigate his own murder. Exactly. Yeah, that's bugged out. I, so, I, so that means that he's also like uploaded onto another body. Also, mm-hmm. you know, like that's what. Yo, and, what? It's, and it and it's coming out February second. Yeah, all eight episodes. That that I'm I'm very excited for that one. That's good. And, uh, I can't. I just can't. I want to know the budget for this shit because that shit look like a fucking movie. Netflix doesn't release it too. Oh, they don't. They don't release their budget. No, because uh, ninety five mil for for bright. Oh, they okay. Yeah, you're right. They don't release. They don't ratings. release their ratings. That's yeah, right. Yeah, they don't yeah. release their numbers, but, but um, they release their budgets. I gotta see the budget on that shit. That sh- they dumped all their money into that. That's just got to be their big thing. I, man, you know what? Netflix might be... Well, no, because I, I think I've read something that they haven't posted a, a gain in a while. Like, they, they're running at a loss. But they're also making so much money that running at a loss is still running pretty well. They, and, got, they took out... Because I heard a while back they were, like, in bankruptcy or some shit. Like, no, they're mm-hmm. not. No, they're not. They 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 know what they're doing. They they we know who's leaving Netflix. Let's be for real here. Disney. And, yeah. They can afford that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they I can th- afford that. I feel like they're doing so much to build their own studio up. Mm-hmm. And I remember hearing years ago, I think it was like 2012, mm-hmm. when Disney, for, when Netflix first started saying, "Oh, we're gonna bump up our own production." What the f- you and rent movies, th- you're gonna start making them? Yeah, holy, sh- yeah, damn, yeah. I'm eating. This is what six Ex- years later, I'm eating those exactly. words exactly. And as, and people didn't they didn't look at it like that. I didn't. I didn't. I got Netflix streaming back in 2011. No original programming, nothing, just a bunch of fucking yeah. movies. And I was like, this is a waste of ten dollars. And I was I was mad too, because I was like, I could do I could watch all this on Hulu. Yeah. And then watch the live episodes. Cause Hulu at the time still had all the previous seasons mm-hmm. of whatever they had. Yeah, they switched so it's that like, up. I was like, oh, so it's basically Netflix it's basically Hulu without the new episodes. Mm-hmm. I'm not all right with that. Exactly. No commercials though. 
That was the one Still. thing. That was the one thing was no commercials. Mm -hmm. I would watch Netflix and then catch up. And then once I was caught up to the real season, I would watch yeah. it on Hulu. Yeah, yeah. I, listen, Netflix is definitely here to stay. There were some rumblings about Apple looking to buy, uh, buy Netflix. I hope not. Yeah. I hope not. I mean, Apple, to be Apple honest, needs to Apple, leave it alone. Apple, they because they want to get into the streaming wars too. Disney's doing it. Netflix is the juggernaut. Apple start, here's the thing. Apple started streaming with iTunes. Music, mind you, but they also got into videos. It wasn't stream. You had to download it, though. It wasn't stream. But they, oh, you're they, right. You're right. You're right. They you're did right. start all they that started digital, the digital purchasing. They yeah, started they started the all that digital you're right, you're right. So yeah, no, yeah. They, so they want to. They want to make sure they have a stake in everything. Apple will. Will they will do what they need to do? I don't think. Just start your own shit. I know it's going to be hard. Because, mm -hmm. like, you got the streaming services. So, Apple's King, Spotify, fucking Pandora. Yeah. Fucking Title just came in and Title's about to go bankrupt. You yeah. know what I mean? So, I understand you not want to be late to the party. Maybe you just want to get a jump ahead start. But leave my Netflix alone. Yeah. Please. Yeah. I, I, I love everything that they're doing. And then, not only Netflix, what was that one? Uh, Marcel had a friend over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Code 8. Code 8. That was, um, so that's something produ uh, produced by uh, Steve Amell. Yeah. From um, Arrow. From Arrow, Love Arrow. Yes. Um, that shit look it's it, the premise. Everybody, it, it's it's it gave me the feel of Bright, where everybody has powers and everybody's accepting of it. Uh, not everybody, but you know, certain people have powers, like specials. I, I, felt, I felt like it was more of an X Men type thing. Yeah. I got more of an X Men feel off of it. Like mutants, everything people know there's mutants, and they just it, but it's more, it's more like the mutants are lower class though. Like the dude yeah. called them a special. Yeah, and that's what makes me feel like it's an expert, yeah. like stinking mutant, yeah. like a stinking special. Like, like, hey. just, and they're just trying to get by. They're just trying to do their thing. Exactly. They, they got the the robot police reminding me of Sentinels. Yep. Especially the way they drop in. That's, yeah, that's you know what dope. I mean. I, I really felt like it was more of an X Men vibe to it, but I loved it. the guy. He went through a moment of stress, and that's when he found his power or whatever. I don't mm -hmm. know if he found his power or if he always had. He was concealing it. Remember, he said, "I'm oh, an, yeah, electrician. I'm an electrician." Yeah, yeah. 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 Or so, maybe he did just because remember his veins changed and everything too. Like it showed that. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the whole thing. But I, the thing is, I it's I a 13 minute preview, mm -hmm. and holy wow! Yeah, it started filming uh, June 17th. I think they're taking donations and shit. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm about to send some money, goddamn. Pops on. You you damn right. Shit. That's it looked amazing. I if that whenever the fuck that comes out, I'm all the way with it. All the way. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's that's stuff coming up that we're looking forward to. Yeah. And man. some TV shows that you should watch. Mm hmm Um Hey folks, yeah. give us a call. 321 405 2219 what are you guys watching? Hit us up on Facebook at Pops On. Uh, Give us some suggestions. Reach out to us on Twitter at No Dad Jokes with a Z. We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, man. Still, still fuming still about that one. Us. Um, also, email at us as No Dad Jokes, proper spelling, uh, at gmail.com. Uh, Look us up on Instagram at No Dad Jokes. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think. Let us know what shows you're excited for. Definitely, definitely, definitely uh, let us know. What were we talking about earlier again? <laughs> what? Uh, no, we were uh, the memeing. Oh, uh, the Star Wars oh, themed oh, guinea the pig Star names. Star Wars themed guinea yes. pig names. Please, yes. please. Like I said, my, my his name is Obi Wan. We just call him Obi. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs around in the fucking ball. Uh, he I, runs I, around I, in a Death Star. He runs around in the Death Star. Yes. yes. You should name his ball the Death Star. It is now the Death Star. <laughs> Fuck. And then you get a get a get a bigger one and call it Starkiller Base. Oh my God, I have so many ideas. And I, and, I, and you know, I hate Star it. Starkiller Pig. <gasps> oh. Yes. Yeah, take that one, guys. <laughs> but nah, um, yeah, man, give us a call. Hit us up on that Facebook uh, uh, group page. Let us know what you think of everything. Give us those names. Give us some suggestions. And uh, take a listen to these pop-offs. I'm Jay Alvarez. This is Raul. And these are pop-offs. Red Sparrow trailer was released and has been called the Black Widow movie we've always wanted, proving Jennifer Lawrence can still fuck up a Marvel character. In related news, Marvel has announced the Black Widow movie is now in production. I told you, didn't I tell you? I told you. Disney, cut the check, man. We know y'all listening. Mad ethnic right now. Black Panther's advanced ticket sales have surpassed Captain America's Civil War, making Chadwick Boseman the most popular black man since Barack Obama. He's a jackass. Wonder Woman director Kathy Jenkins states that Wonder Woman 2 will be something different from the first Wonder Woman. Wait, so is it going to suck? I'm Raul. I'm Jay Alvarez. And these were pop-offs.
What's going on, Pop Song Nation? This is your boy Raul of Pop Song, and guess what? Your favorite dad's got a new number. New phone. Who this? Yeah, man. You guys can reach us at 321. Why is it ringing already? This call will be recorded what as monitor. I have a collect call from. Hey, I got a dad joke for you guys. <laughs> what? What does a snowman eat for breakfast? An inmate oh, at Lord. a San Bernardino County. Bro, who do we know in San Bernardino jail? Oh, sh. How did he get this number? Anyway, um, yeah, 321-405-2219, what the fuck is going on now? Hello? Okay, yeah, listen, I'm ready to come pick up my two pies. I nice. want everything on it. Whoa. No onions like last no, time. No, no, wait time a minute, stop, shit. stop, stop. No. Who do you think you're calling right now, dude? I'm looking for Sal's pizza. This is not Sal's, dude, this is Pop Song. Pop Song? Yeah. In Florida? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. Yes. I love you guys. Oh, okay. This is incredible. Yes. Bro, well, it does sound like you. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. All right, you know, get on that Twitter shit and tell them to release the S already. Will do, partner, will do. All right, listen, take care. Peace. Let me turn this damn phone off. Listen, 321-405-2219. Call us, leave a voicemail, send us a text message. We definitely want to play these voicemails of your best dad jokes or your topics on the show at some point. 321-405-2219. That's Pop Son. You guys have a great day. And we're back. Episode 27 of Pop Son. What up? Got Jay over here. Hey, folk. My name is Raul. We got Marcel on the soundboards. Bro. Yo. Scariest shit just happened to me. Oh, what? Frog came out of the toilet again? Oh, Lord. Hey, <laughs> quick side note. So, you know, I put a fucking reef on my door. And okay. I, you know, I took I took everything. I took my Christmas decorations. How many frogs down. were living in it? Let me tell you something. I didn't. I purposely did not take down the reef because I knew there was going to be something <laughs> in there. Sure enough, I went. I went away to Fort Lauderdale yesterday. Wife was like, "Do you know when I took that shit down, three frogs hopped out?" Yeah, that's why it was left up there. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, something even more scarier than that. Oh, my daughter got a goddamn driver's permit. Oh shit! Clear the roads. Oh, clear them is right. <laughs> oh my god, it's 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 a scary time. I believe it. Scared. What, <laughs> growing up in New York, I didn't care to have my fucking <laughs> driver's permit. Hey, how'd you that. learn to drive? Somebody told me how to get a Metro card. Facts. <laughs> That's it. Like, I, I, I seriously, like, when I go back there now, I don't want to give, get a card. No, I, I'm on MTA, okay? Yeah. But man, I, I don't know. When she told me, I, I was rooting for her to fail that test. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> 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 I do not want her driving anywhere. It's just Did one step closer. Yes. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but you remember how it was when you when you I mean, we all thought driving was cool and then we got behind the wheel. Yeah. How See, was I, yours? I grew up in the South, so driving yeah. was a necessity. Um I remember I was probably like nine the first time my parents let me my my parents. No, my father had nothing to do with this. This is my mother. Nice. Uh, my mom. <laughs> whenever I would go visit Georgia, South Carolina for the summer, that's when we started learning how to drive. No, I remember the first time I, they let me behind the wheel was oh no, you know what we first started? My mom used to drive a stick shift. It was a nineteen eighty eight Acura Integra. It was oh. five speed. So the way my mom first got us into the groove where we were sitting in the front seat. We were like nine, way too young to be sitting in the front seat. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she would let us shift for her. So she, you know, she told us his first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah. And she says, she would hit the clutch and say, all right, shift for me. And then we would shift. So we got in awesome. that, you know, that little rhythm. Um, the first time she let me behind the wheel, I think she was dating this guy named Rusty. Um, <laughs> and it was a pickup truck going on some dirt road in, in uh, Waltersboro, Georgia. That and, sounds uh, all bad. Just going through some dirt road. And he was, I, I remember I was hitting like bumps. And I was just going way too fast. And he's, I'm, he's like, you're going to kill my suspension. I'm like, should I stop? He's like, no, keep going. <laughs> that sounds fun as shit. He was drunk, but he wasn't driving. So, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, yeah. But then, no, not the nine-year-old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, man. Let me tell you. Yeah, it was different. It was different than New York. <laughs> yeah, you're right. My, my dad, he wanted us to get our, our permits or whatever. So, I got it. And I was like, all right, take a yeah. little test. I'm not going to do nothing with it. I'm not driving. I don't need a car. There's yeah. a bus, there's train, there's cabs. I'm good. <laughs> so he made me get my shit. But yeah, he, 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 was, he was one of the ones that, you know, sat me in the lap and, you know, did the whole driving thing up the block and yeah. turned the corner and shit. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't need to do this. I don't. But he wanted me to get it, so I got it. I didn't learn to drive until I got to Florida. I took my driver's test. In, no, a lie. I took my driver's test in New York. Failed that shit. I took it in Red Hook, Brooklyn. <laughs> 
First of all, I've never even been to Red Hook, Brooklyn until that time. Yeah. And I had to take my driver's test over there. And he's like, if the paper's short, you pass. If it's long, you fail. That shit kept going and going <laughs> and going. I was pissed that day. I was like, man, fuck it. Nah, I learned, I finally learned to drive. It was my mom on the same Integra. She taught me how, I, I learned how to drive a stick shift. Um, it didn't work out. I couldn't get the timing right between the clutch and the gas. Oh, it didn't know. work out. My father taught me how to perfect stick shift. That's the one thing my father taught me how to do when it came to driving. Everything else came from my mom. Um, but yeah, I remember I was like probably 13, 14 when I was like actually driving well, like where my mom could be like, hey, I need you to drive to the store right yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. I, my dad wanted us to drive so he she didn't, he didn't have to drive anymore. So he taught me and my other sister at the same time, you know, mm -hmm. about a year apart in Brooklyn. So he's, he's, um, we're driving. I'm in the driver's seat. My sister's in the passenger seat and he's riding a bike. He was like, all right, so we're going to practice turning. If you hit me, that means you can't turn. And I know you're not going to hit me. I was like, oh, really, nigga? <laughs> so, you know, he, he's teaching us all different ways and shit. And I hated it at the time, but I learned. I learned everything. And he used to annoy the shit out of me when he taught me how to drive. Yeah. Like, I always hated it. Like, to this day, I make sure I do everything perfect because I don't want to hear his mouth. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm 10 and 2, stop three seconds at the stop sign, just do all that shit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do this with my daughter. <laughs> So a couple months back, before she got her permit, I took her out in the truck. Because the truck, she could, she could drive the truck. Yeah. Drive the truck, and nothing, you will survive anything that happens in this truck. It took out a fucking deer. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the animal lovers, but he had to go. Here's the thing, though. She's going to survive anything that happens in that truck. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to die. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, you get folded. <laughs> so, Very quickly. So, you know, we try, I'm try, trying to pack this turn with her. A couple months ago, before she had the, uh, the permit, and I was like, this is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> because you're not, you're just not, you're, you're not like trying it. to teach you the three-point turn in that thing. Oh, man. And yeah, she gonna have to, I'm going to have to do all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I took my actual driving test for my license in a Ford Expedition. Oh, man. Oof. Yeah. Oof. They Expedition. Took me, it, 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 yeah. It, and it was, on, it was at the old DMV, that one that used to be on US1. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're getting real local for the Melbourne. For, <laughs> for, for, we're getting real local right now for this. Yeah. Um, no, it used to be a DMV there, and they took me on some like real skinny, like it wasn't even two lane. It was like one and a half neighbor, one and a half lane. Serious? And he's like three point turn. I said, "What in this?" And the thing is, it was my recruiter's car because I had my permit, and I was kind of just coasting on my permit. Mm. But I had to get my license to join the army. And so my recruiter gave me his expedition to do it. I was like, I saw it Williams. Um, <laughs> that's uh, you. You gonna? I'm happy I'm leaving tomorrow because you're gonna kill me otherwise. Yep. Um, but he uh. So, but yeah, I mean, he he had worked with me a little bit too, just to make sure I knew how to drive his truck around. But we never did three point turn. I knew how to do one because I took driver's ed. But when the when the DMV instructor said, "Okay, three point turn," I said, "This that three point turn turned into a fifteen point turn." Oh my god! Because it was so big, like when I when mm, I got sideways, mm, it mm. felt like Austin Powers in the tunnel. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's the most awkward scene ever. <laughs> but I did it, you know, and I did it well. And the instructor was like, "Good." You took your time. That's exactly what you need to do. Yeah. In like, this oh. big ass truck. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> Shit. Right, see, so so I, I, I tried to teach her again uh this past Saturday. Okay. Mad excited. She was like, oh, cause she got she now she has the, you know, the license, so she has everything. Yeah. Um, took her in the truck, practice turning again, and she did she did better. She did better. Mm -hmm. But the first two times she almost crashed into this goddamn Dodge Neon that's up the block from my house. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, dude. Break, break, break. <laughs> Shit. But then, so I'm on my way to Fort Lauderdale yesterday. Me and my sister. My, 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 my wife sends me a video of my daughter driving from the Walgreens to the house. Yeah. In the truck. Almost lost my shit. <laughs> the two of, my wife is a horrible driver. Like, break rules driver. Mm -hmm. She don't need to be teaching my daughter shit. <laughs> at all, at all. There's no reason for her to be behind the wheel with my daughter. No yeah, reason. You see, your daughter learning how to drive in Miami. You know what that means? There's some Cuban guy looking at me. Mera, mera, mera. E green, e mango. Right? <laughs> green, mango. E jello, jello, jello. Like the food, jello, jello. Me, uh, go. Hurry up and go before you turn red. It's fast. Uh, when you see red, I mean, look around to see the police. You know, police, go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, no, and that's the shit that my wife does. This is bad. So, but I, you know, I'm getting there. It's, 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 she, cause what's gonna have to happen with what my dad does now with me, my little brothers and sisters, cause we all drive now. She's just gonna drive everywhere. She's gonna drive if we have to go to the grocery store, 
barbershop. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna drive. You wanna learn to drive? You're gonna drive. You call her driver. Yeah, that that is her Give name. Give her a little chauffeur cap. Mm-hmm. That is her name now. So she's I'm, I'm excited, but it's just it's just growing too fucking fast. Yeah, man. No, I'm there too. My so I had my son over for for holidays. He's 12. He's in his growth spurt. He's finally starting to. He's finally taller than his younger cousins. Nice. Because for a while they were all the same height, and they were like, "Oh, they're so close in age." I'm like, "He's two years older." <laughs> <laughs> they all the years. same height. Uh, but yeah, he's taller than my grandmother now. That's <laughs> that was weird when he walked in and she had to like tilt her head up a little bit to see him. Wow. I was like, "Oh wow, that's oh my little man getting so big." Mm-hmm. So. It was like the you know last couple of days we yeah I took him uh, I know I, I went to go pick him up in the morning we went to go get breakfast and uh we went to go check out something there was a sinkhole not far from the house so I took him to the sinkhole and we were getting out of the car I noticed like he's tall enough I, I looked at him sitting in the front in the passenger seat I noticed his feet all the way at the front of the wheel well and he's mm-hmm. way above the dashboard so I looked at him and was like we're, we're literally around the corner from the house all you got to do is make a right turn. Yeah, and, and and just go down the block a little bit, and there's one stop sign. So you know, so I was like, "All right, mm-hmm. you driving us home?" He said, "What?" <laughs> I've never seen a kid so scared to drive. When I when I was twelve, you couldn't keep me from behind the from the behind right. the steering wheel. He was like, "I, I, I don't know, I'm ready for this." I'm like, "Good, that means you're ready." <laughs> <laughs> for real. So so I got him in. And here's the thing, I I, I I'm. I felt a little more prepared because I, at least a couple of years ago, learned how to drive when I had to learn how to drive a rig. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, driving yeah. an 18-wheeler for a little yeah, while. so you could drive that so, shit. Yeah. So I had, the thing is, I had to learn how to drive. I'm, I'm, I'm so far removed from when I learned how to drive, I really don't remember much of what my parents used. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it's been a while. Yeah. But four years ago, I had to learn how to drive a rig from professional drivers who are professionals at teaching students. So they taught me some tricks. You know, they had a couple of things like before we start moving, we're going to test how your foot is on the gas. So yeah. put your foot on the gas, and I want you to hold it steady at two and a half. So it taught me how to, like, you know, yeah. slowly hit the gas instead of taking off like a bat out of hell. So I did that with my son. I was like, all right, show me the brake. He wanted to drive with two feet, and I'm like, mm-mm. Me take too. Your, take your left foot, <laughs> and you see that pedal right there? He's like, yes. Yeah. So you put your left foot there, and you don't fucking move it. Your left foot does not work here. He's like, but I have two pedals. I have two feet. I said, no, no, no. That's not how that's it works. How this One foot, both pedals. Okay, I said, relax. We're not going on the we're not going on 95, which is going around the block. So I had him, I'm like, show me the brake. And he put his foot on the brake. I'm like, all right, cool. Show me the gas. And he pushed it. He went, I'm like, okay, happy woman park. (laughs) Yes. Damn. So I said, I want you to put your foot, I want you to hold it at one and a half. So he did. It took a little while. We burned about a quarter tank of gas (laughs) because it kept revving high. Yeah. But he finally got it to where he, he would ease up to one and a half and hold it there. So I was like, all right, cool. Oh, put your foot on the brake. Smart. I was like, put your foot on the brake. He did. And I put it down and drive. I'm like, don't even push the gas. Just take it's your foot off the brake. We started moving. And he's just like, <gasps> <laughs> like yeah. his eyes got wide. And yeah. he's just, and we're just moving off the brake. We get to where we got to make the right hand turn. I say, all right, turn right. He's, I, I forgot to explain to him that you really have to turn the steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, he's yeah. doing this like it's a PlayStation remote. He's just turning it a little bit. And it's not turning. He's like, it's not turning. I was like, keep turning keep the turn, wheel. Turn, turn, keep like, turning the wheel. Turn, 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 turn. Yo, this shit. It's, it's exciting. Mm-hmm. And it's a proud moment. Yeah. But shit is nerve wracking. Oh, man. So oh, he, he did that. And then at this point, it's just straight down the block. So I t- But it's a pretty, you know, long size block. So I'm like, all right, do what I told you. Put the gas at 1.5. And he already had that. So he's eased up the gas. Go 1.5. We got up to about 10 miles an hour. Okay. You know, for the first time, we're not in the parking lot. We're actually I'm on the street. That. And I, I had to keep my my hand on the bottom part of the steering wheel because he had a hard time staying in the lane, which that's fine. Mm-hmm. That's okay. He's only used to go-karts. It's you know 12, what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So, this not bad. He did a pretty good job on his own. I'm proud of him. Mm-hmm. And he, he stopped perfectly at the stop sign because I wouldn't let him go that fast in the first place. As soon as we got a little bad, I'm like, take your foot off the gas. He did. And I'm like, brake slow. And he did. He did a really good job. I was proud of him because he already had that soft touch from the gas. So he yeah, soft, right. soft touch on the brake. He did great. And we got up. I didn't let him pull into the garage because it, it was Rain's car and I didn't want to have to buy a car. Yeah, exactly. yeah. But we he got up to the garage and he was like, <sighs> I've never seen him so scared. That's crazy. But that's good, though. That's yeah. good. I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely proud of him. I'm proud of my daughter for, you know, she drove, like I said, she drove a little bit of a distance. Um, it's just it's just nerve wracking, and then got to get in the process. Okay, now we got to get her a car soon. She has what? She's in 
this year? Oh, shit. That's yeah, shit, it sounds about right. It's about Nine, the time you turned 16. Ninth, tenth grade. Ninth, tenth grade, yeah. Fuck. Gotta get the car thing going. Got to, and, and, you know, I gotta show her responsibility. So, trying to... Yeah. What my, my thing is... And you parents tell me if this is not... I want to get her a brand new car. But not like some fucking off the wall shit. Like a Fiesta. Mm-hmm. Like just a, a, a bare bones Fiesta <sighs> for like 11000 I I want my son to have a beater. Only yeah. because too, I mean, I, I'm not a huge car guy. I'm not a huge mechanic. I yeah. don't know how to fix a lot of cars. Right. But I want my son to have something that he's going to have to maintain. My son, Yes. With the daughter, I, I agree we're getting something more reliable, something yeah. a little newer. Yeah. But it's still nothing brand new because I still want her to learn how to take care of her car. True. Because that's the other thing, too. A lot of women don't know how to take care of cars because their dads always get them a brand new one because I want my daughter in something I know is going to go. Yeah, that's my yeah, thought process. But I also want my daughter to know how to rely on it and, and get her car. Even if it's not her fixing it, mm-hmm. I want her to know that she has to change the oil. I want to know how important that is because yeah. I want her first car to be something that she has to take care of. True. Reliable. I'm going to make sure it's reliable because that's my girl. Mm-hmm. But... She's also going to learn how to do this herself because I ain't yeah. going to be around forever. Yeah, because I don't want to have to rely on some guy to, you know, true. I don't know how to get my, I don't know how to go to Midas and get an oil change. No, no, no. First off, you don't go to Midas. You go to Joe's, you go to Joe's mechanic shop because yep. it's about $40 cheaper. And cheaper. he's going to do a good job because he wants you to come back. Midas okay. don't give a damn about you. You're just another number. Joe, Joe cares. <laughs> I didn't think about Joe, that way. Joe needs you to come back. I Midas don't give way. a damn. For my son, because my son is gonna have some shit that he's gonna have to work. Like I want, because I I am not a car guy. My little brother mm-hmm. just told me I need to put fucking steering wheel fluid in my goddamn car. I was like, oh, that's what that sound was. Ah. Thanks. So <laughs> I want my son to be more like him. I want him to know. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna get an older vehicle that he's gonna have to maintain. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I guess this is sexist. I don't know. I want my princess mm-hmm. to be fucking. A, she want to be. I want her to be a princess. I want my princess to know what a CV joint sounds like. Mm. You turn the wheel, click, 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 click. What's that? That's a CV joint. You need to get that changed. Huh. Why is the CV joint going already? Because it's a used car. So you need to take care of that shit. I need to go check my car. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I, want my, I want my daughter. It's just as much as my son. Like I said, yeah. I, like I'll get my, I'm going to get my son a 1990-something. Yep. I'm going to get my girl a 2000-something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know and what I, I mean? I, I get and I don't feel bad about that. Yeah, it, 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 I'll get her something new word, but I'm not getting something brand new. She's going to learn how to maintain her car because mm-hmm. that's something that she's going to need to know to do. True. And then my, my, next, my thought process is I will get you your first car. My daughter will know how to change a tire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I can do I, I know how to do that. <laughs> I did the other day. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. But no, no, absolutely. There's certain things, yeah, I definitely want to know. But at the end of the day, like I said, my dad got me my first car. After that, he's like, all right, nigga, you on your own. I'm, yeah. I got you, you get, this You get one. one. You get one. Exactly. You get Unless one. I win the lotto, and maybe I'll co-sign for you. Not even that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you give me money? No, no, no. I'll co-sign. <laughs> <laughs> Not, no. No dime handed. If sign. nobody else will. <laughs> on a used your car last <laughs> I'll co-sign for you On a used car Oh But not and So after After she gets this one you know, In warranty Get every protection plan And everything After you deal with this Then you can go off And do whatever you want Get whatever you want You want to go big You want to go bold You want to stay the same yeah. Go with that That's on you And that's what my dad did with me My dad My first car was in 93 Integra Okay Love that shit my, Mine Oddly enough 96 Pathfinder Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So I got that and it was cool. But then, you know, I got my girl and then, you know, she came with two kids. I was like, yeah, I really can't fit back there. This is a two door. Um upgraded to the uh, to the uh, to the car I got now. And my dad was like, Oh, well, you know, when you do this, you you gotta you gotta keep going up. So your next car gotta be like a like a fucking BMW. I was like, nigga, are you putting like, in look, on my, this? My next car needs to move. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, because I was looking at a GMC terrain or some shit like that. He's like, that's not better than what you got. Uh yes, the fuck it is, Dad. Okay. <laughs> you are not putting in on this. Like you still gonna be like, hey, let me borrow that to go drive down to Miami. Yeah. Like, yeah. Can you not? You, this car is not good enough. How much money are you putting in on this? Oh, nothing. Hey, this car is great. <laughs> exactly. I can't. I, I, I dig it. You, know, you want to go bigger and better, but listen, I, I'm working with my pockets here. I'm shopping yeah. smart, yeah? Shopping <laughs> smart. You look at your dad like smoking. You did not put in on this, man. <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, it's it's oh, it's going to be a, a, a couple a couple good months coming up with this girl. Because she's going to start driving to school like, I don't drive for the school, thank yeah. God. So she's driving with her mom. <laughs> one thing, one thing to do because you got a couple cars, right? 
Yeah. Before she moves, do that little gas trick because every car's a little different with that gas pedal. You get her used to driving the truck, you put her in a Cadillac, she's going to go flying. She's going to go flying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So make sure she get used to that. That gas pedal trick saved me on a rig. She's actually, she needs to 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 do her test with the, with the other car, not the truck. Yeah, it's going to be easier for her. Yeah. No, I remember, you know what? I'm happy I brought up that learning how to three-point turn in an expedition because mm. it came into play when I was driving the rig. Here's a funny story. Um, story time. Mm. Hey, so, bringing that back. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm driving the rig. No shit, there I am. I'm driving in Maine. It's my first trip to Maine. I'm happy as hell because I'm about to go see some Mises. Um, mm. Moose. Okay. I want to see a moose. <laughs> about to say what? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to see a moose. I'd never seen a moose in my life. I've seen a lot of things on the road at this point. Never seen a moose. So I was happy. Mm. It was July. I'm in Maine. It's 55 degrees. I love this place. Um, <laughs> Damn. So I'm dropping off. I, I was dropping off. I was supposed to stop at a, a Walmart distribution plant. I was supposed to unload. Well, the Walmart distribution plant up in this town in Maine is in the middle of fucking nowhere. Mm. It's off some dark street. And it was the middle of the night. It was like 3 a.m. when I got there. And I drove... Right past the motherfucker. Now, I'm on a two-lane road. Oh. <laughs> I'm on a county road. And, you know, there's there's height restrictions for these trucks. You, you, you're 13 and a half feet high. Anything that ain't 13, if you got low-hanging power lines, you can't go. And you got to pay attention because there's signs that say no trucks allowed. A lot mm. of people like to ignore that. No, because that means that there's shit hanging low. That means that there's bridges that ain't going to hold your weight. You need to pay attention to those Holy no shit, truck signs. Yeah. There's a reason those shits are there. So I'm driving past this Walmart distribution center, and there it goes. It's in my rear view. Shit. I got, all right, maybe I'll get somewhere where I can turn around. 50 feet past that, I see no truck. Oh, oh damn. Shit. <laughs> and we're in the middle of nowhere, Maine, and I already know that these are small towns. Mm -hmm. So I got to, uh, I, I kept going up because I had to. I didn't have a choice. Um, and I get to where there's like a triangle intersection. Mm -hmm. So it's a little wider than your normal intersection. That three-point turn in Expedition came in real handy because I had a three-point turn in an 18-wheeler with the trailer. Damn. In the middle of a triangle intersection in Maine. In the fucking dark. <laughs> in the dark. Damn. And I made that shit work. My I am a professional. That's what I'm talking about, son. And that's who's teaching my son to drive a Kia Soul right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, shit, man. man. I was so scared. I'm like, ah, man, all these white people here. <laughs> middle of Maine. I'm the darkest motherfucker they've ever seen. Max. And I'm still whiter than half of them. Oh my god. Yo. Nah, man. I was I was scared, but luckily I got through and we probably... Maine's beautiful, man. I was at, It was like July 3rd. It was like 55 go. degrees. I'm going to Maine in the summer. I'm, that sounds amazing. 55 yeah, really degrees nice. in July. I yeah. love it. I love it. Yeah, man. No, yeah. Listen... What, what? I may be coming to you for some more tips on this one. <laughs> Not going to lie. I'm here for it, man. So what about you guys? This is a fun topic, like learning to drive. You, get, I know there's some horror stories. Please give us some, some horror good stories. horror stories in teaching your kids to drive. Please, please, please share them. Because yes. this, this is, this is, I want this almost more than I want Star Wars themed guinea pig names. <laughs> Yes. So hit us up on Facebook. It, it, it pops on uh, Instagram. Find us at No Dad Jokes. Proper spelling. No Dad Jokes at gmail.com. Twitter. Hit us up at No Dad Jokes with a Z. Let us know. Give us. Give, what number can they call us at, Raul? <laughs> Three two one four zero five twenty two nineteen. I haven't had to remember a phone number since nineteen eighty five. You're right. You're right. This is the only, this is the only number that I know. My phone died at this fucking party yesterday. Yo, if, if you if you get arrested, you better you call that number. You better hope I check the voice. I like, fucking hope man, so. I hope Jay listens to this next Jesus. week. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, send, no, no. Me, send help. Three two uh, three two one twenty. Oh, yeah. Three two one four zero five twenty two nineteen. Leave us a message. Leave us some jokes. Leave us any horror stories you got about driving, because man. This it's going to be a rough fun. couple of months. This will be fun. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, number, number 27 today, man. Yeah, man. That's well, in the can. What are we going to do for our 30th? I don't know. Bring in two bottles of Advil. <laughs> this is our work Advil. We're 30. <laughs> Just going to shake the can. Shake, shake it in the microphone. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, man. Well, again, guys, hit us up on all our social media platforms. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the ratings and reviews on iTunes. Uh... Wherever you're listening to us right now, I'm just happy that you are hearing our voices. So yeah, thank man. You very that, much yeah, that. and you you can find us. Tell your friends. We're on Podbean. Mm -hmm. uh, we're on Stitcher. We are on TuneIn Radio. We are on uh, Google I Play. iHeart. Yeah. iHeart. Yeah, don't I forget forget that. we're on iHeart. We're on that shit. Yeah, we're gonna try to increase that a little bit too, guys. But yeah, thank you all for getting us this far. It's good to be back. Second se second episode of the se of the year. Yeah, yeah. Getting Don't back in the swing of things. Yes. Oh man, Jay. Raul. 
It's been real. Yes, sir. Marcel? All yeah. right. Yeah, man. <laughs> end, this, end, end this shit good, bro. Go ahead. Don't forget, spoil kids, not movies. And please, no dad jokes. Peace. Peace. Thank you for listening to Pops On. Email us any questions and your best dad jokes at nodadjokes at gmail.com. For more content, please like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash nodadjokes. Follow us on Instagram at nodadjokes and Twitter at nodadjokes with a Z. Yeah, we tried to get no dad jokes within us, but apparently some thing that got out of hand wanted to take it and then not post anything for two f-ing years on Twitter because, hey, look at me, I'll get this now and maybe at some point I'll actually figure out how to use f-ing Twitter because it's not like I don't have anything else to do with my damn life. I'm just going to f- these whoa, guys instead. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, whoa. But, hey, family show, man. Whoa, family. I bet you his mother's a fucking ho-